Uh huh. Now, another thing people in the church do is to make a point, they'll take a scripture mm -hmm. that seems to be saying something, but they ignore where Jesus said, forgive to be forgiven, right? What does that mean, right? The sins, right? People do, right? To have mercy, you must show mercy, right? If you condemn, you're condemning yourself. Wow, we're all the same, right? If you are having sex with a woman, right? Even if you legally marry her, right? According to the state laws, right? <laughs> the Bible don't say you know who you're supposed to marry. Mm -hmm. You are. Mm -hmm. God don't either, right? <laughs> If you marry some random woman you run into, and you both say you love each other, <laughs> does that mean that's your true soulmate or the person you're really supposed to be with? Not necessarily, right? But people do that too, right? They lie about it, right? Even if they meet the right person after marrying the wrong person, they want to insist they were still right. <laughs> they don't want to listen, right, to God or other people. They self-righteously don't listen, right. And like I said, if I'm trying to find my wife and she married another man, I might run into another woman who wants me, even if she don't, right. <laughs> Then she's committing adultery against me and making me commit adultery against her. So what do you do? Like, at, with the woman caught the act of adultery, you forgive it, right? You don't compound the sex. <laughs> Jesus could have even been with the woman at the well, we don't know, <laughs> for sure. Though they stayed there a few days. <laughs> After he met her, too. And she was the main... One he met. <laughs> Just like Jacob and Rachel met at that same well, and Jacob wanted to marry Rachel. <laughs> we don't know Jesus and the woman at the well didn't hook up themselves. Because even though she had a man living with her, they probably had sex before that, they also probably haven't have gotten to a groove, right? See, when you meet someone and they accept you you're hoping they accept all your baggage, right? Mm -hmm. So she had had five husbands, right? So it was kind of hard at her age to even find someone to live with her. Mm -hmm. Though today that would be called living in sin, but that's judging her, right? Did Christ judge her and say, oh, you're a terrible person because... You have five husbands and we're living with a man? No. <laughs> but you would in the church. Yes, you would. You would call her a whore. Mm -hmm. Or a woman working in the strip club. I know. Who gives lap dances and let men fill her up and down, right? You're just jealous, right? Because <laughs> you can't do that yourself, probably, ladies, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you make it sit right not God not Jesus not Satan even right unless we're following a satanic law in the Torah itself right see all Torah means is these are laws that Moses wants the Hebrew people to try and follow mm -hmm. but no man is perfect right so why did all this happen yet mm -hmm. even Israel still sinned and were punished and people died for breaking the law? Mm -hmm. But who had to kill them? Mm -hmm. You don't know what someone is doing, right? Unless you catch them in the act, right? 
But you can't catch them in the act unless the person is set up, right? If you set the person up, mm -hmm. it's like, well, how do they know the woman caught in the act of adultery was a kid in adultery? <laughs> Did they follow her to her lover's tent <laughs> or her lover's house in Jerusalem or something? Right. That was where they were at. Jesus was preaching at the temple. There's only one temple. <laughs> he wasn't in the synagogue. That's a local church, right? As we would call it today, right? Or a local place of worship for the Hebrew people. Mm -hmm. There's only one temple. That's the one in Jerusalem. The rest of the Jewish gatherings together for worship is called a synagogue, right? But then some are of the synagogue of Satan still, right? And again, mm -hmm. or won't we go to the temple of Satan? I oh, know. And are judging and condemning one another, right? See, that's why you condemn abortion. You think they're doing away with life, right? But Jesus said there would be some that were better if they were never born, right? Ain't that what abortion does? If the girl's with an asshole boyfriend and she treated her like crap and left her, right? To raise the baby alone, right? And she can't afford to, right? She's better to abort the child <laughs> than raise it in poverty where she's worse off I don't know, with the child, right? Gets pissed off with the child because it's half his daddy <laughs> and half her. Mm -hmm. And in her mind starts acting more like the daddy than the mom. Right, right. It don't matter what. Mm -hmm. Financial obligation. It's not your baby, it's hers being, right? And you only have a 50-50 say so anyway, right? And if you leave her, you don't support her, who has to raise the child? Her alone, right? Now, when the women did say in Isaiah, through Isaiah, it's a man speaking, right? <laughs> And saying, seven women shall take hold of one man. Mm -hmm. Saying, we will eat our own bread. What does that mean? Support themselves. And wear our own apparel. We will clothe ourselves. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. When a woman marries a man, she usually takes on his what? Last name. Exactly. Right. <laughs> so seven women legally could be with Jesus without being legally married to him, and it wouldn't be against the Torah or the prophets, right? Right? right. He also may have had ten virgins because he's bringing it up, right? Because that has to do with the fact that David left ten women right, behind in Jerusalem when he fled from Absalom, his son, right? Uh, Right, right. Now, five of them were wise. Mm -hmm. The other five were foolish, and they were waiting for the bridegroom, perhaps even to come back to them. Mm -hmm. Now, the five that were wise kept their oil in their lamps, right? What would that mean? <laughs> what oil are they talking about? Olive oil? <laughs> Uh, did they have sex periodically with Jesus? Right. And the other five didn't? Right. Well, he has a two-year ministry and he's going all over the place, right? I don't know. Our five were with him the whole time and then five only once or a few times and then stopped being with him, right? Could that be what it means, though? Right. See, the metaphor is talking about the oil in the lamps of the virgin. And they are the lamps then, too. Right. Mm -hmm. And Christ stand, stood in the middle of seven lampstands. Oh, no. But why were five of them wise and five of them foolish? Right. I know. That makes ten, not seven. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. 
Or is it 7 plus 5, which is 12 women? Right. And the other five, he just had sex with it. Right. Making pregnant, right. Maybe? Maybe. Is that another way to view that parable? Yes. It's a parable. Mm -hmm. Like the parable of the sore, it could have a deeper meaning. Just like Jesus said, I am the door. Right. When talking about the door, but he entered in by the door and is the door. Right. Himself. Right. This traces back to Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. The ark had a door. Right. <laughs> and once it was closed, you couldn't get in. Right. And Jesus says in Revelations, I open a door that no man can close, and I close a door that no man can open, right? He also says, I stand at the door and knock, right? That could be referring to letting him come into your heart, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That if you confess with your mouth and believe in your what? Heart. <laughs> that God did what? Raise Jesus from the dead, right? Mm hmm So I confess with my mouth, God raised Jesus from the dead, right? And by my confession, I'm saved, right? Now, some of these people just leave out that part, though. Even Joel, 